So I'm kind of going to try to post like a day in the life of a pressure washer kind of guy thing. That might reach the bloopers. Anyhow. Guard dogs over my rig. We just got a new hose. Um, so it's going to be about 200 feet of hose. I got another extra 100 foot coming because I got a dock to clean. Um, but now we're just trying to get all the kinks out. So... Awesome. I really, I mean, new hoses are great. I gotta say, new hoses are great, but they are definitely tiresome. They can be tiresome. Oh, look at all that. I gotta get all that unraveled and then wound up in that reel right there. That's just. <sighs> oh well. Got to do part of the job. It's part of the job. Got to make that money. Just realized something I forgot. That I need to replace an O-ring at the end of the 200 feet. So I need to stretch all this out. And get the O-ring replaced. So I can actually work today. You guys are doing a great job at guarding. Good job. And it's almost there. And if there's an easier way to put O-rings inside, just anything, let me guys, guys let me know because I think I'm doing it like the fastest way I feel. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But uh, I might be doing it wrong, so I'm always open to criticism. That is a terrible sound. I'm always open to criticism. And if I'm doing something wrong, help me out so I can not look like a fool. Anyways, I still kind of got bed head. Anyhow, one thing I obviously learned, whenever you're reeling up your hoses, make sure to have your quick connects and areas that have thread tape. Keep them close to the reel so that they don't drag across the dirt and mud and gravels and all that and get screwed up. Definitely want to take care of all your material. I'm hoping that that will just unravel here at the uh, reel, but we'll see. One thing too, um, manual hose reel. I got a manual hose reel right now. I'll kind of show you guys. It's got the crank. I always make sure, because there's always dirt and mud on the hoses. I've just got a rag. Just put it over top of the hose and start reeling away. Let's see. All right, so we're getting pretty good flow this morning. Going 200 feet. I don't think I've ever had 200 feet before. I think I've just stuck with 150. I'm gonna be pretty excited to see what 300's like. I know we're gonna lose some PSI, but uh, we're doing pretty good with 200 this morning. Back to we've got this brick wall. It's about knee height. We've got to pressure wash that. All these pavers through here. I did tell the uh, customers that the sand in between the silica would have to be re redone. They were fine with that. So I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that. But you want to make sure that the customers know that properly. Make sure to always wet down your plants. I'm kind of out of breath. I had to move these barrels. I do go work out, trust me. I'm not just a lazy man. But all these, we've got all these pavers. We're going to try to get all these uh, moss up too. And 
this little patch of concrete right here as well. I'm gonna try to get up these mud stains best we can. So yeah, we'll update you guys at the job site. It's got some painted wood on the deck, so I'm gonna take it really light. I'm not using any uh, high pressure if I can't. Um, or if I can, I'm not using any high pressure. It's got some of these white speckles. I'm just gonna try to put some Dawn maybe on there and scrub it off with a soft bristle brush. Um, we're not doing the house itself. We are doing the overhead though. As you can see, it's got some spider webs. Um, nothing too crazy though. It's got these speckles. I'm gonna take those off. SH should get that off fairly easy. So, yeah. so we've got the SH house wash, just a light house wash on the ceiling. Make sure we wet down everything. We wet down the doors. Um, we wet down the shrubbery. Make sure to wet down the decking as well. I'm not taking no chances. So we got this set, uh, I'm gonna let it sit about seven minutes. Get to eat all the organics. I'm not sure where that came from. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's gonna eat all the organics off. And then after we spray that, we're gonna end up doing the columns, railings. We got right here in the darker shaded areas, like that. pretty good so as you can see just a slight hinge of difference right there that's pretty much all you're gonna get with the cleaning of this block so the final outcome will look like that right there instead of that sometimes like you would think you might be able to wash this nope that is the color of the brick actually so SH on it. That's just the color of the brick. And all the different minerals ingrained inside of it and things. What you do too is make sure to always pre wet your windows, painted doors, and things like that, so that the SH doesn't burn anything. So now this is the finished product the barrels back in place a lot better than what it was pretty clean no moss coming up anywhere brick wall looks good 